hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is Antoinette thank you so much for stopping by I hope you will stick around and consider subscribing in today's video I am super excited to be participating in the Mother's Day brunch collaboration that was hosted by Sonia from Domestic Diva 76 and a bunch of creative ladies here on a YouTube to come up with some brunch recipe ideas that will be perfect to make for Mother's Day or any time of the year i will link sonia's channel and a playlist in the description box below for you to check out and hopefully be inspired so we love tacos and today i thought it would be fun to share with you guys this delicious taco cups recipe that is super easy to make especially for mother's day brunch while we are quarantined i hope everyone is safe and healthy i love that these taco cups are perfect for brunch birthday parties taco tuesdays or just for any time you have a taco craving so for this recipe i will need one pound of lean ground beef one onion two cloves garlic mince, two tablespoon of taco seasoning or one envelope and half teaspoon of all spices and that's optional. To start I heat the oil in a large pan over medium high heat then I saute the onion for a minute. Then I add the garlic and mix everything together. Then I add the beef. I use this cutter to break up the meat. Then stirring constantly. I add some salt and pepper to taste and I add all spices and mix everything together and let the meat cook through. I love to cook my meat really good so I let it cook for about 20 minutes on medium heat with stirring every couple of minutes. Then I turn off heat and at this point if your meat is watery you can drain it. Mine as you can see is not so I will just let it rest for a little bit. Then I have here some red onions, some fresh tomatoes, you can absolutely use canned tomatoes and I have seasoning. I also have these mini tortillas, they come in a bag of 12. And also I am using two cups of marble cheese shredded. I add the taco seasoning to the meat, then onions and tomatoes. I stir it all up till combined and set it aside. I heat my oven to 350 degrees. Meanwhile, I spray the muffin tin with this cooking spray. Then I place mini tortillas into the bottom of each muffin cup. Then I spoon some meat into each cup like you see me doing here. Then I top it with some shredded cheese. Then I bake in the preheated oven for about 15 minutes or until edges are golden brown and cheese is melted. And here they come out looking really beautiful and delicious. At this point you can top them with some sour cream, guacamole or salsa and garnish them with some green onions and diced tomatoes. But I am leaving mine plain like this with all the toppings on the side. Next recipe is dessert, it's super easy and super delicious. It's called cookies with cream pudding. And here what I will need. 4 cups of milk or cream, 4 tablespoons of cornstarch, 2 tablespoons of orange blossom water, 3 quarter of cup sugar, and I am using these plain cookies that I had on hand. Feel free to use any of your favorite cookies. So first I mix the cornstarch in cold milk like this. Then I add the sugar and mix it well. 
then I turn on the heat on medium high and stir constantly until it starts to boil about 8 minutes then I turn heat to low and keep stirring for another 2 minutes until it gets thicker like the consistency you see here Then I turn off the heat and add the orange blossom water and mix it very well. In another bowl, I crack the cookies into small pieces. Then I have these ice cream cups that were gifted to me from my friend and I add some cookies into the bottom of each cup then top it with cream pudding like this. And lastly I garnish them with some ground pistachios. And that's it friends, that's all what I made for the brunch for my family to have together. It is simple, it's easy, I already had my table setting ready. I made a video showing how I DIY'd this gorgeous centerpiece and how I put together everything on this tablescape. I will link that video for you in the description box below in case you haven't seen it. So easily I remove the centerpiece and place the food on the middle then gather with family and enjoy this beautiful brunch. I hope you enjoyed watching these simple recipes and ideas and I hope you found them helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps my channel out and I appreciate your awesome support my friends. Until I see you on my next one, please be safe and have fun.